Sorry Junior, but people aren't buying your lies any more than they are believing your dad's purposefully misleading propaganda. Everyone knows that self-interest and buffoonish con artistry are Trump family traits. No one, and especially not Senator Harris, needs your mansplaining of a subject you neither understand nor have an unbiased opinion regarding. So stay at home and count your gilded toilets while you still remain unincarcerated. Hopefully, it won't be much longer. Sorry, Junior, but people aren't buying your lies any more than they are believing your dad's purposefully misleading propaganda. Everyone knows that self interest and buffoonish con artistry are Trump family traits. No one, and especially not Senator Harris, needs your mansplaining of a subject you neither understand nor have an unbiased opinion regarding. So stay at home and count your gilded toilets while you still remain unincarcerated. Hopefully, it won't be much longer. With even confirmed MAGA maniacs taking to Twitter to bemoan the betrayal of the populist promises made by President Trump while he was on the campaign trail, the outrage from people who now owe the IRS money after getting a refund in prior years, despite having the same income and expenses as previously, has opened the eyes of taxpayers who didn't initially understand how the Republican tax scam funneled money from their pockets directly into those of the people who need at least billionaire oligarchs. Presidential offspring Donald Trump Jr., a major beneficiary of the upward redistribution of wealth that has been going on in this country for decades, tried to mansplain the inequitable new tax regulations to a potential rival of his father in the 2020 elections, Senator Kamala Harris, D. California, in a response to her tweet accurately characterizing the supposed tax cuts as a middle-class tax hike. Perhaps Senator Harris could understand what Don Jr. was trying to say, if he hadn't mangled the syntax of his sentences so horrifically. However, his disingenuous reply betrays Junior's wealth and privilege, since anyone with half a clue could read the provisions of the Republican-drafted tax legislation and see how clearly it favors the extremely wealthy donors and corporations that predominantly support the GOP over anyone making a middle-class salary or less. The eldest son of the president also ignores the fact that the unnecessary tax cut for the rich has depleted the treasury of otherwise expected income and created an unprecedented federal deficit that Republicans will now use as an excuse to cut social services for the majority of Americans that the ultra-wealthy would rather see fend for themselves than help in any way. Twitter followers who saw Don Jr.'s tweet hit back at his ignorant remarks with extreme derision and personal examples of how their own tax bills have been affected by the new law. Sorry, Junior, but people aren't buying your lies any more than they are believing your dad's purposefully misleading propaganda. Everyone knows that self-interest and buffoonish con artistry are Trump family traits. No one, and especially not Senator Harris, needs your mansplaining of a subject you neither understand nor have an unbiased opinion regarding. So stay at home and count your gilded toilets while you still remain unincarcerated. Hopefully, it won't be much longer.